we at WordNet wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Just like the star that brought many people to Jesus in the manger, may you bring everyone to Jesus in the manger. Happy Christmas. Hi, I'm Annie McCarthy, and I'm a member of Our Lady of the Rosary Cathedral in San Bernardino. In today's Gospel, the very last Gospel of the year, it's almost fitting that we end the year with these beautiful words. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Going further, St. John continues, What came to be through him was life, and this life was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. So what does this all mean to us? What is this light we hear so much about? What about us as Catholic Christians reflects with such dazzling radiance? I believe it starts with Christmas. Only a week ago on Christmas Day, we saw a fragile human infant come onto the scene. God our Father, in His infinite wisdom and love, sent us His only Son as a defenseless human child, an infant who would need to be taken care of and loved our Savior, our God, crying for milk, needing to be changed, needing to be swaddled and held. But this same baby would be the instrument of our salvation as he grew into the man the Father sent him to become. Yes, God in the form of a human being would have to grow. And with that growth, not only would his light begin to spread throughout the world to every person willing to believe, each one of us as believers in Jesus Christ would grow as well in our light, in our faith, in our willingness to empty ourselves of darkness to become adopted children of God. In the Gospel we hear the following beautiful words, words that are transformative and enlightening. But to those who did accept Him, He gave the power to become children of God. To those who believe in His name, who were born not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by a man's decision, but of God. And so to reemphasize, as Christ grew and matured in his humanity, so did his light. And it is his light that shines brightly in each person who believes, Jesus, the Word. And by his incarnation, he became one of us and brought an eternal hope to all the world an eternal light, an eternal life with our eternal living God. And through Christ's light, there isn't a single thing He can't take care of for us. We need only to ask. That is the light we all so urgently need, the light the whole world needs. Let us pray. Out of oblique darkness we cry to You, and You gave us Your only begotten Son, a light that conquers all, a light that shines on his adopted children, a light that reflects all that is good and is a beacon to the entire universe. Thank you for sending your Son and making us holy. In Jesus' precious name, amen.